Well, 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 look at this. Syntax back on the cluster to make some more videos. That's right, the series never ended. It's not dead. We're just, you know, we put it on the back burner for a couple months because guess what? We had other things to do like Genesis Part 2, Ultimate Arc is back. We have some other stuff that needs to be done as well. And I can't really handle every single series all at once. And I'm not going to even attempt to do that. So things will go on the back burner but it has not ended. Also, you may be wondering, yes, my chest cavity is mostly healed from those 100 Reapers that uh, escaped it in that last episode. Um, we're doing okay, we're doing all right, uh, but my mental state is not doing all right because trauma from all of that, but also the fact that literally days after that video came out, we got Genesis part two with the R Reapers. And guess what? They look way cooler and I don't want any of my Reapers anymore. I'm gonna make them into a giant Reaper pancake at some point, Maybe with the help of the King Titan. Speaking of the King Titan, which is a boss segueing into this next part, I know flawless. Where the hell are my bosses gone? I had a Dragon Dermis that was working. I had a Megapithecus Dermis that was working. And a Magikor one that was also working. Why did they leave me? Guess who didn't leave me though? Guess who? The MVP, the, the most loyal boss out of all of them. The Brood Mommy. Yes, we still have the Brood Mommy, although this one didn't come from a boss arena, so maybe that helps. I don't know. This one came from the Valgiro one. You guys know the one in the Redwoods area. Um, yeah, thank you. Ne never leave me. Never leave me. Um, guess who also didn't leave me? We still have Sky Mammoth. Never leave me. Anyway, um, so today we are going to be doing something very exciting. I've been doing a little bit of prep for it, and you guys are going to be very excited to see this, but I don't know if you guys have ever heard of anything called the Indominus Rex. Yes, we're getting that, but it's not going to be called that. It's just going to be called the Domination Rex for copyright reasons. So yeah, we're basically getting an Indominus Rex here today. This is the Arc Editions mod, um, the Domination Rex version of it. It is a fantastic mod that you guys have probably seen before, but here's the kicker. We have new variants of this Indominus coming very soon. Hopefully, I don't really know. I know that they're in the works and that they're hopefully going to be finished soon. We're getting some Genesis-y looking ones ones which is going to be very exciting there's a tech one and then i saw one from the bog as well so super super hype for all of that stuff but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves one of these little fellas here today so let's go ahead and pull for it it is relatively expensive but all those artifacts are actually not too bad to get over on this map some of them are a little bit harder to get onto the island map but uh here we go let's get that crafted and in the meantime i want to go ahead and we need to teleport. Where's my thing? There it is. Okay. We're going to go ahead and teleport over to this new area that I discovered. I don't even know. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not even going to play. I made this. I made this and I think it's going to be really cool. We have containment facility Delta. Boom. All right. So here we are. We have containment facility Delta. Um, I did not account for the fact that I'm going to need to keep this egg in my inventory. So we basically come in. We got to change into our special outfit and then take the egg because I forgot about that. Uh, where is it? Is it in the front? Uh, there it is. Cool. All right. So we are in our special outfit for containment facility Delta and the lift is upstairs. How the hell did you get 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 down? De-elevate. There we go. Okay. This should have all been ready. Look, things are trying to attack us already. This is crazy. All right. Actually, we need to be down here for the moment, to be honest. So let's head into the back here. We got to get into the special area and we got to basically go ahead and dump this egg in here to get it incubating. Uh, are you on? Wait, let me see. Are you incubating? Yes, you're on the perfect temperature already because these things have a nice little automatic temperature probe, maybe? I don't really know. It doesn't show any stats at all, and it says it's a level 1, but it will come out as a 270 because it always comes out as, you know, a 180 plus 50%. Um, usually a team would come up with, like, 90 like 99% effectiveness, but these things come out with 100%, so they get the full 50% boost. Um, that's just kind of how the eggs work anyway. So that will be done in seven minutes. So in that time, we need to go ahead and prepare this facility. So 6969 is the door code, don't tell your friends. Um, and then this is the area where we're gonna be raising our uh, our little Indominus Rex. So let's, uh, let's prepare for this. Look at this, it won't be able to see me. It doesn't know I'm watching it. That sounds creepy. Um, I'm kind of like Santa Claus. Maybe I'll dress up as Santa as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to basically watch it from in here. Now, the reason why we need to do that is, of course, because these things will attack you. They will kill you, even though they're tamed to you. It's kind of like their thing, um, pretty much like the Reapers as well, when the Reaper's a baby, except this thing does it up until the point when it is fully grown. 
So a 99.9% .9 grown Indominus Rex could turn on you and kill you like pretty much immediately so we need to be very cautious with these guys we need to be careful so we have some some security cameras around here they've got different modes as well of course this is from the genesis dlc see that right there that's the camera <laughs> we, got, we got like we got like five of them around here all right so that's the deal we're gonna be raising up our indominus in here how the hell do i get out of the cameras there we go so yeah then we also have another area up here that we can go up to let us head up so this is the specimen feeding floor let's go ahead and elevate up here so i'm sure you can understand what this is going to be um you know we 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 want this indominus to be to be strong we want it to be powerful so we're gonna need to feed it some very powerful creatures so i have i have my spinos i have a couple of my rexes and we have a bunch of Denonicus that all somehow turned out to be female so we're gonna be feeding it all of those guys through this this little hole right here and hopefully it can't jump up and grab me and pull me in we'll see though you never know you honestly never know let's uh go ahead and de-elevate this back downstairs we gotta wait for this indominus to be ready to be hatched up and um yeah guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this one kind of goofy stuff but you know what it is kind of fun to uh to, to like make a whole facility just to raise up this little dinosaur that you know realistically like let's be honest it probably could kill like the majority of my creatures uh i definitely have some creatures that could be able to stand up against it and and maybe kill it but yeah I, I don't really want to risk that you know it could break out and eat like night owl or, or mystique or something like that so um yeah this is a uh... This is pretty goofy, but it's it's cool. It's all cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in four minutes and 30-ish seconds. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Can we hatch this and bring it out here without getting killed? Hopefully. Hopefully. You know what? We're going to need a little bit of meat first. I just realized. And I don't want it to be me that is the meat. So let's go ahead, go right up to the feeding floor and grab just a little bit of meat out. Hopefully we can put it into it before that sounds wrong. Hopefully we can feed this meat to this little baby before it uh, eats my hand or something like that. We don't really want that. Actually, my initial idea was to raise two, um, but then I thought that people would think that's stupid because literally one will probably kill the other and I, that would not be a good idea. All right, let's do this. Little baby hatch. Ooh, okay. Copyright music. Let's not have it play. There we go. Hopefully we're okay. All right. I think this this baby is currently following me. Let me get it into like the center. It will stop following me and then follow me on its own accord. I think it's already in that mode now, right? Oh yeah. No, it is. Look at it. It's angry. Oh man. All right. We got we got to get back in here and close this freaking door, man. Uh. Okay. Hang on. 69 69 there we go <gasps> oh i didn't even get to feed it oh my god all right we might be okay it's kind of like doing its own thing look at it this thing's terrifying like that little baby could kill me i don't want that i don't want that at all okay no more glowy eyes i think we're good let's get this open again uh oh why is that still on wander Oh, well, I guess that's just a thing with these guys, right? Because normal arc babies don't wander anymore. Uh, let me. Should I take it off wandering or should I leave it on wandering? I don't actually mind it being on wandering because it's kind of cool. It is super loud. You've got a heavy foot, little guy. Uh, all right, we're, let's, uh, let's try and get the rest of this meat in here if we can. Okay. I don't want to be silly here. I don't want to end up losing my, my butt. All right, come on. Any second now. Yes, I did it. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to close the store. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Now let's go up to the observation deck while we can wait for this little baby to start growing. Um, All right, we got to take a little look and make sure it's not up to anything. Kind of just looks pretty innocent right now, but you never know. It's plotting. I know it is. All right. Oh, my. What the hell is what just happened there? That was weird looking. Um... <laughs> All right, there it is. Specimen is in containment. Did I forget to close the door? Did I? No, I, did I just close the door? I'm opening and closing the door by looking at it. Is that a thing? I guess it is. Yeah, these cameras are pretty cool. Um, hello, little baby. Oh, 
I didn't know you can do things like this. No way. Oh, could I fed it from here somehow? No, that's not a thing. That wouldn't make any sense at all. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just. Can I imprint it from here? Maybe that could be a thing. Probably not. Anyway, uh, let's switch to some of the other cameras, making sure that it's not uh, you know, just trying to play on the blind spots of that one. I think we're good. I think we're good. These little guys are so cool looking. They've got like gigantic feet though. Can we talk about that? We probably shouldn't be shaming. <laughs> All right, more camera angles. All right, we got night vision as well. Just, you know, for when it's it's nighttime, the night vision with uh, this thing. <laughs> All right, let's see. Also, there I am. What the hell was that down there? Weird. Look at how handsome. Look at that outline, honestly. I mean, there's no better outline than that right there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna probably chill here for a little bit. Look at my outline a little bit more. What's it doing? It just like charged at the door. I wish I had a different angle for that. That was amazing. Um, okay. Very cool. Oh, little baby's pissed. Maybe this is the perfect time to actually try to feed it. Let's go up top. All right, elevate. Take me up. All right, so what should we feed this little thing first? We've got several options. Uh, nothing vegan though. Maybe a Denonicus. Let's start off with something on the small and feathery side. All right, here we go. All right, little guy. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's probably better if I go ahead and just do this. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, I really wish I had some cameras up here because that would have been great. Hmm. I don't see it at all. <gasps> Wait, what? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's actually get a couple Denonicas in there just in case. Let's get like four of them in total. All right, here we go. What happens if I just drop them on top? Oh, look, they just stand right there. And then if I do this, they're not going to fall, are they? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's not good. All right, you guys just... Uh... Oh, I can get you from here. That's good. That's what I was worrying about. Because I don't want to fall in somehow. Well, not somehow. You know how that would work. Um, Let's see. Okay, let's get down here quick so we can take a little look. Oh, it's definitely going to eat something here soon. Okay, here we go. Um, boom. Hopefully it doesn't just want human meat. All right, little doms right there. We got a bunch of Denonicus. Can I put them on Wander? We should probably put them on Wander. Boom. They might end up starving as well, actually. That's also a possibility until they can get to like 10%. Here we go. Dude, this freaking camera thing's cool, actually. I never really fully played around with this stuff. Look at that. Oh, it's pissed. Here we go. The ultimate battle. Oh, it's like... Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm just... It's not going to, like, team up with them, right? Like in the movie. These guys aren't raptors. Right? They're technically not. Although I do believe that people have claimed the ones in the movies are pretty much Denonicus, but they call them raptors instead. What the hell just happened there? Uh, hopefully not. Are you gonna... Go on, eat it. Go on, eat something. Do I really need to be down there for, to, for you to be fed or something? I don't, I don't want to have to do that. That sounds awful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, little guy. Are you, uh, you hungry? No? You, uh, you don't want a meal at all? Look at this little tasty meal. Go on. It's pissed. Its eyes are glowing. Something's happening. It's in rage mode, but it just doesn't want them. Maybe it doesn't go for tamed creatures. Maybe I should unclaim them. Could be a thing. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's pissed. Oh, oh. It's going for it. It's a battle. It just ate it. Oh, dude. It's like tearing right through them. Let's go for a second one. It's so hungry. Oh my God, if I had had the last one. Oh, it, will it still go for it? It might actually. Oh, I didn't even need to unclaim them. Oh dude, that is that is so cool. <laughs> oh my God. It didn't even eat the bodies. It just killed for sport. And now look at it, it's no longer pissed. Well, we clearly need to give this thing something a little bit more substantial so let me uh let me get back up there so maybe we could give them and then after we can give like the rex or the spino or something maybe the spino and then the rex is last that could be a thing all right let's uh 
Let's open this up. Oh, man. I really wish I had some people here because I totally love for them to get eaten by this Indominus Rex as well. That would be amazing. Just lead them right up here and be like, don't worry about it. Don't worry, man. Just, just ignore this sign right here. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no sign here. What are you talking about? <laughs> just go through the whole of the floor for unlimited glory. Yeah, that's that's what I would say to people to lure them down into my feeding chamber. All right, sweet. So there we go. We, we got it to eat some things. That is awesome. I love that so much. This Indom is still tame to me, right? How come I don't see it? Oh, there it is. It's uh, its name was like uh, interlocked with some other ones there. Uh, so we don't actually even need to, um, to unclaim these guys. We just need it to rage when they're around, I guess. I don't really understand what happened, to be honest. It just kind of got pissed and it just attacked them all. So yeah. Anyway, we do need to probably go in there at some point, uh, which is worrying me. I need to check on its imprint status whether or not it needs to be imprinted soon. Yeah, so we're probably gonna need, why did I run around the, the long way? Um, we're probably gonna need to go in there right now and, uh, and take a little look. My secret code, that's the same uh, pin numbers that I have on my cards as well, if you guys ever see my cards. Um, all right, Ooh, oh, oh my, look at that, 34 seconds, okay. I came in at like the perfect time. No, I need to deactivate. Crap, it's gonna end up in here somehow. Oh, it was coming for the door. Look at that. Oh, my God. Damn. All right. Okay. Hey, little guy. Hey. What you, uh... What you working on, huh? Has it pooped yet? I wonder if it would be feathery. All right. We should, uh... We should probably head out there now. It's been probably close to 34 seconds. If not 34 seconds completely... All right, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. What do you need? You want to go on a walk? Okay, well, you've been walking all day, but we'll go for one anyway. See, so, like, it does actually kind of get a little bit risky when you get towards the end of it raising up, because at that point, you know, you're coming in here with a fully grown Indominus Rex, and it could easily kill you. So there we go, 13% for that first imprint. That's not too bad, actually. How are you doing on food? Because we have plenty in the trough. I didn't even get to see. Okay, we, we got a little bit still left on you. Um, do we have any Denonicus bodies? Did it even eat them? I could probably put food on the babies, although that would kind of not make it so easy to put them into the chamber. So that is, wait, did I do it? No, I didn't, because you have to hit deactivate. Crap, it's making it towards the door. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get back upstairs, take a little look. It is pretty much nighttime now. As you can see, it's getting to nighttime at least, which is uh, a little bit worrying. This is the time when I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't somehow break out. Which mode? There we go. I want to be on this one because they mostly hunt at night. Mostly. Um, so we're going to see if we will maybe go for some of these little babies. Let's actually put them onto uh, wandering. There we go. And then you. And then you. Damn. Love this camera thing. So cool. All right, I'm watching you. I'm watching for those glowy eyes. I know it's gonna happen at some point. It almost looks as if these Genonicus are plotting something. It won't like that, guys. It honestly won't. How did they manage to get into a perfect little triangle like that, by the way? That is incredible. There's a whole pen and they're all on wonder, but they managed to actually get into a triangle pretty much perfectly. Look at that. How is that even possible? Let me go from this one here. How? How did you guys manage this? <laughs> All right, so this thing has not started hunting yet, but I do have to show you something. In case this thing gets out of containment, in case there's a breach, we do actually, in fact, have a failsafe. So in case of containment failure, break glass. We got some respawn candy inside of there, just in case. Like, this is the ultimate weapon to use on me to stop me from dying from this thing. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's my backup plan, guys. Don't worry. I I know what I'm doing here. I am a scientist. All right, so it's been a little while, and we have to do another imprint. What are you gonna need? Basic kibble. Okay, I need to go back to my base to grab that because I don't have any currently on me. Uh, hopefully we don't miss anything. We'll see. 
My one worry is that it's going to escape as I'm loading back in because it's on wander and creatures on wander can walk through structures as they're loading in because the creature loads in before the structure. So that's kind of worrying. Hopefully that does not happen. Are we good? We better be. You better still be in there. Okay, it's still calm. At least it seems to be. Probably won't be as soon as I go. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. <gasps> oh my god <laughs> it nearly got to me dude it decided like as soon as i come back with the food it's like oh this, this is my time to go from that is terrifying how dare you are we good it ate like a denonicus just one maybe <laughs> oh my god all right hello there you go. We're good, right? No, that's not how you do it. I hate the way you can't just, you know, toggle activate slash deactivate constantly. That's so annoying. Um, yeah, that was a little bit. That made my butt clench just a, just a tad. We're okay. We made it. We're, we're okay. We still have all the limbs, I think. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that was that was seriously terrifying. It did like a couple hundred damage per bite as well. Damn. You are one scary little dude. Lady, I don't really know what gender you are, to be honest. Um, we don't have a camera on the ground to be able to like zoom in and check. But uh, I think that I know that canonically they're all females, right? But I don't think that this one has a gender, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Maybe they're all female in arc as well. I don't really know. Um, it looks as if it like almost killed that, that Denonicus that's hiding underneath. Okay, I thought it was about to attack. The one that's hiding underneath it right now. That's uh, that one right there is, uh, it's afraid of it, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna body block you so you can't kill my friend. Either that or it's, or it's you know, trying to be its friend. I don't really know what's happening here. This is all very confusing. I'm just happy I'm alive. Oh, is it pissed? Oh, it's pissed. And goodbye, Denonicus. It just ate one. And there goes another one. I should have put them onto passive flea. That would have actually been a little bit cooler. Is it dead? I didn't even see that one like die. It just kind of faded into the ground. Oh my God, you're scary. You are so scary. It's looking for weak points now. Look at this. It's checking the perimeter. Oh man. Okay. Little bit, little bit scary. Just a tad. We're okay though. No glowy eyes. Look at that. All right, cool. So um, I think I'll probably bring you guys back further along in the growth of our little experiment here. Um, and then, you know, once it's nice and big, maybe we could feed it some nice and big creatures. That could be a good idea. We'll see. Okay, so it's a long while later and we're on, I do believe the last imprint, but this thing is quite big now and it's kind of scary to go in there. So yeah, wish me luck. Let's do this. Oh, I don't trust you. By the way, it's only wanted... I didn't like the way that it just looked at me there. It's only wanted basic kibble. I don't know what the thing is, but it just wants that for some reason. We're good, right? You're not gonna come for me, right? Oh, crap. Okay, I missed it. I don't like the way it's like looking in my direction like that. That is not how you do it. It's deactivate. Okay. I feel like it might be time for a Spino, so let's go ahead. Is it attacking? What's it doing? Uh, come on back down. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, and feed this thing. <laughs> hey, little guy. Hey, let me, I'm stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's get up here. Let's give it a little Spino. We'll see how this goes. It will probably devour this thing in like a second, but yeah. Also, it's now 100% imprinted. So I feel like we need to acknowledge the fact that I've only made this thing stronger and more capable of killing me and or everything else. Uh, so let's go for this then. Boom. And then I want to run back down because I want to see this happen. So de-elevate. There we go. All right. My initial plan for this was to actually like, you know, use a grapple and grapple uh, some sheep and then like lure them down. But I was thinking then we can't really get like a good angle of that of like the killing and also it might take ages. So 
<laughs> and that's that's why we have this little shaft thing up here. Um, all right, let's uh, let's take a little look. So we've got the Spino. Let's put you onto Wandering. There you go. Come on. You know, I'm I'm pretty excited because I do believe that he's gonna be working on um an Indoraptor, and if he makes it pretty like similar to the movie, it's gonna like pretend to be asleep and whatnot. And that would honestly be really terrifying. We've obviously had mods and stuff like that, but Garuga is an absolute champion when it comes to this type of stuff. So him doing it would be way better than anybody else doing it, at least to my knowledge. I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of great modders out there, but I just think Garuga's definitely top of the class. So that's just my opinion. I simp for Garuga and his mods. Look at this stuff. Like, how could you not love this and all the other Arcaditions? mods and stuff anyway let's uh let's get a better angle for this he's is he gonna go for it probably i don't know uh you know what just so i can see the damage numbers let's go ahead and get this thing unclaimed that way we can see how much damage it does because otherwise we would not be able to see because it's a friendly creature right i think i think that's how it works i'm not sure oh here it goes finally is it what what are you are you gonna go for it? Oh, here we go. There we go. Now it's killing it. And it's dead, but we don't get to see the damage numbers. That was weird. It took a long time to want to kill that thing. Wow. Okay. How grown up are you, actually? I can't even tell from here. Uh, we're gonna need to go down there, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. I mean, you're still adolescent. Like, you're really big, though. Uh, okay, it's no longer angry. That's good. Let's go downstairs. Uh, hello. 70%. Mm, okay. <laughs> Little bit scary. 70% <laughs> crowed. All right, we're going to wait till... You know what? I'm not even going to wait. I'm actually just going to put those Raxes in now because I don't know if it will even actually try to eat them, you know? Because it took so long to actually want to eat that Spino. That Spino was, like, pretty grown up by that stage. I don't know. It's been in there for a while, so let's put the Raxes in now just in case. Oh, here we go. Is it... Oh, it's not going to attack this time. Are you kidding me? Like, what the hell triggers it to do this? Oh, I'm curious. What would happen if I went down there? Is it going to attack me? It probably will, right? Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Maybe? No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, so it's finally doing it. There we go. Killed that one. Uh. What the hell just happened there? What? Why did the body take so long to react? Uh, that's so confusing. I don't even understand what the hell just happened. All right, one Indominus Rex saddle. Thank you very much. And we can go ahead and teleport back now. Okay, luckily it did not seem to escape the containment. <laughs> oh my god, I was kind of worrying about that just a little bit, but um, we seem to be good. It could have been walking, you know, and if it had to walk through the wall. Oh, it's pissed. Oh yeah. No, this, this little guy is pissed. He is so pissed. You know what? For at least one of these things, we should probably actually get killed by it. I, I think that could be kind of funny. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. Now that we've survived pretty much the whole thing, can we, can we survive entering the ring with the Indominus Rex? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That never gets old. That is awesome. The fact that it just like attacks you like that, I don't know. I like that type of stuff. I think it's uh, it's kind of interesting, you know? Cause like when you hatch out a, a Rex and stuff, like yeah, sure, they, they look at you and they're like, oh yeah, mama, that's, that's what you are to them. <laughs> but something like this, this is not of this world. So I guess it kind of makes sense. This thing should not exist. Look at it. Oh, it's still super pissed. Can it get me in here? I don't think it can, right? Right? I think we're good. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's terrifying. Luckily, it doesn't count because it's uh, through the structure, but if it broke that glass, then we would be screwed. There we go. It's fully grown. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that on. Also, we should probably turn off the wandering and let me check you out. Oh, man. So this is where you grew up. 
Lovely place. Lovely place. Um, luckily it didn't grow up looking at me, so... Although it did taste my blood just a little bit. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh man, these things are so cool. In terms of stats, we should actually probably just pop it into one of these balls just to see. Boom. And then, where are you? Do you have your own? Oh, you have your own icon. Look at that. Um, So 39 points into health. Not too bad. Stamina is coming out with 41 points, which is quite good. Um, Weight has 43. And then melee is, is quite low with 32 yeah, that's not so good. Although these things are pretty powerful in general. Like, this is probably not the best one ever. Um, it is still pretty good, though. Also, we can probably go ahead and just boost it up with some mutagen anyway. So, yeah, win-win. Anyway, well, I'm kind of glad that we actually didn't have to use this because it would have been kind of funny. My idea was to go ahead and just shotgun it. Because that... Oh, my God, it doesn't even break it in one? Oh, yeah, they made these this stuff a little bit stronger, didn't they? Wow, that would have taken a lot longer to get into. Yeah, look at this. It would have taken like three shots. And then we'd have to get in here, grab a piece, and then and then die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, doing this type of stuff. Oh, I'm out of element. What the hell? How am I out of element? Oh, you know what? I think I just realized. Yeah, I'm out of element because when we made it, it cost element to make these eggs. Let me actually show you the exact cost of all of them. So it cost 50 element to make it. So I would have already had element and then I pulled the rest and it would have, you know, pulled the right amount just to be able to make one instead of, you know, pulling an extra 50 element. So that, that, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, here's, uh, here's the island one, which is not too bad. It's literally just a couple alpha things and then a couple are like pretty difficult to get, I guess, artifacts on the island. Um, fruit and cunning are definitely not the easiest things to get. They are water caves, so... I mean, you can go in there with a tech suit if you want to, but it's all, it's, sometimes it can be a little bit spicy. And then the Scorched one costs all three Scorched artifacts, and then also the uh, Deathworm, and then Wyvern heads, and then also Element, of course. Aberration is quite expensive, actually, because it costs just pretty much, uh, well, I guess it doesn't cost the Carcanos stuff, but that's okay. It costs the Reaper King Barb, which is... um relatively hard to get i would say and then a couple basilisk fangs as well so yeah and then here is the extinction one not really that bad to get to be honest i'm wondering what the genesis ones will cost because all these ones cost artifacts but there's no artifacts on genesis so i don't know what that's what it's going to cost over there um let's head back here and just see if there's any alphas around this area and actually you know what first of all let me check out a dermis of this thing. Where is it? There. Nope. There it is. Let me see. Um. Do I hate? Oh, yeah, I do. Sweet. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Very nice. And dermis goes in. Whoa, look at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff of nightmares. Oh, that's its uh, special move. I can't wait to do that one. That one's always really fun. Oh, man. I could obviously go ahead and turn on the animations as well. This is like the S plus taxidermy base. I know you can't see it in case you didn't realize you can actually hide them in S plus, which is cool. Or you can just, you know, change them to make them like different as well. Uh, that one looked like it was invisible for a second, but there we go. That's awesome. It looks as if there's there's no sounds. Did they change that? That would be great because the sounds was always like the worst part about this taxidermy system. Um, because when you would play the animations, it would also, it would also like play the sounds. So it's always like super loud. Maybe it's only on that. Yeah, no, it's only on that. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, we, we got to put you away for a moment just to actually get you out there. But let me get out here and test out this freaking Indominus Rex. Domination Rex. All right, here we go. By the way, we will finish off this wall at some point, And I have some other plans using some of the other... Um, what do you call it? Like the Genesis part two items like the um, the crop plots because we already have our little farm up there But we could probably make a tech farm instead or you know in addition to that or something. I don't know We'll see I'm doing some pretty decent damage. Not too bad. Okay, considering we did have pretty bad melee That's actually not too bad um, So this this domination Rex has one kind of crazy secret move that um if you basically run up to something, and it has to be something small, uh, maybe not that because it's balled up. I don't know if that will work. Let's try it on the Parasaur, actually. Um, 
so this is an instant kill for anything of a certain size no matter the level the health the anything you basically pin it and then rip out its guts and it does 100 million damage and that is silly it absolutely is so silly but it's a cool move for something like this on pvp that would be so broken that would it would honestly be the most broken thing ever and as you can see there's only like a 30 second cooldown we're at like 13 seconds until i can do that again uh so yeah and then also uh you do get the healing effect from that too which is amazing so yeah kind of some crazy stuff right there let's go ahead and start attacking some of these dudes come on get it we could probably kill this thing in 10 years we're almost there nine more years left here we go all right you know what that takes way too long at this at this stage <laughs> do we have any alpha rexes though i don't see any there usually is at least one this area is crazy for them and it's great living here because obviously then i you know i could just come out and occasionally fight one in a video to test out like a new creature or whatever let's do this thing again because we have like a better view of it this time so as you can see we just rip it out what the hell Did that looked like fire or something i'm not really sure what that was but yeah 30 seconds until we can do that again how broken how broken is that um and if it's mate boosted it will do like i think what is it like 67 thousand or 67 million you know only about 67 million so you know a little bit less um yeah it's just an instant kill but you can't do it on big creatures um i think anything like bigger than maybe a thyla you just can't do it on but the fact that you could do it on a thyla is kind of crazy so i don't know if it would work on a shadow main but that would be kind of cool if it did anyway let's see let's get in here get some of these kills get some more xp and then hopefully we can uh maybe level up this dude just a little bit we're already starting out with 20k health which is not too bad at all let's go ahead and get some healing going boom little snack lovely and kill all these dudes i don't know if they could jump on me they probably can because they're probably not able to uh oh we got another one will it jump on me i don't think so let's just uh well we can't we can't do the grab thing again so let's just do that um all right so 20k health and we're already like completely healed up so we're probably fine on that let's just go ahead and pump everything into melee here we go oh, i thought we were gonna do a, a nice little uh what do you call it like a roar so yeah um left click is the normal bite very cool you can do that while you're running as well which is great right click if you tap it it's uh the claws like that and then if you hold it it's the pin and then the you know the gut rip essentially uh c turns us invisible very nice just like the rock drake pretty cool and then control is going to be the roar and there's two variations on that so that's one and then that's the other so you can hear that they're different it looks visually the exact same of course but this thing's got one of the scariest freaking roars ever like look at that so terrifying so yeah um i i honestly prefer this version of the indominus rex as the arc mod um there's the other one the same like model that's been like kind of made uh public like access or whatever uh, open source it's the same one that you probably have seen in like a billion mods by now because somebody made that years ago and then added it to the game and then i think they made it just you know open to everybody so pretty much every single uh giant um overhaul mod has that in it which is kind of cool but at the same time uh i think it's a little bit overdone and i think this one looks a little bit better in my opinion i know some people don't like this one as much as the other because it's quite slim but i don't know i really like it i think it's uh i think it's kind of crazy looking um hello blue drop let's see let me go ahead and kill you i almost actually went to try and grab that blue drop just in my mind i was thinking of you know we're currently doing the fear series and i'm thinking well if there's supply drops i should probably grab them but we don't really need to now because it's not gonna have anything good in it boom should i put the title as my my new creature does 100 million damage i could do that <laughs> that actually might be hmm we could do that at least once maybe i don't know all right let's see we got we got more rexes and stuff this area up here is so good like i love living here there's so many things around constantly that's always like the dream when you have like a base you know and you're like especially for me doing these series it's always great to have like my breeding base or whatever and then just be able to walk outside and just tear through like a billion creatures you know i feel like in the last series in the last cluster where we lived on ragnarok 
wasn't the most ideal for that because the area was kind of you know difficult to get out of and then also dead pretty much as well so yeah uh would have been a lot nicer to live in a nice area like this um although that base was really cool though so yeah don't get me wrong i did love that base that base was amazing can we do this again yes we can boom oh my god <laughs> oh man all right let's see couple more levels at some point we definitely need to do a boss fight with these guys we really do let's go invisible there we go all right i feel like there's something else that these guys can do and i just can't remember i guess i haven't done the claw attack on any creatures yet it hits twice which is cool so it probably does like uh the basically 300 damage that we're seeing right there um so it's not as fast but it's still pretty good like it's not as fast as like the bite attack i guess um all right can we do this again i love this this will never get old like it's just so cool and we made the anki into a spaghetti look at that oh oh, oh what where, where did where, <laughs> this is the worst one i've seen in a while what oh okay bye it's left this world <laughs> It's like the Dragon Ball shooting off into the sky, you know? We, we have to go find all the Yankees now. <laughs> like, what on earth? How is that still an issue in the game, and why does it happen like that? Why is it only Yankees? Like, other creatures do get messed up like that. Don't get me wrong, but, like, the Yankees have always been like that. It's so weird. It is so, so weird, but I love it. All right, here we go. Let's watch it like this. Gut rip. Amazing. We love it. Oh man, uh, the only thing I would recommend, well, well, great. Okay, well, I've slightly loaded it in, so I've got to go over here now because if I don't, there's going to be a crap ton of eggs everywhere, maybe possibly. But um, yeah, the only thing I would recommend is don't use that on a Kentro or a um, an Arthro. Anything with recoil, I, I believe will kill it, you know? I mean, recoil, even if it was just 1%, it's still going to do a million damage to your guy. So yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't maybe don't do that. that that would not be a great idea boom and this anki did not become a spaghetti anki cool all right well guys that is the indominus rex we have it we need to use these guys in a boss fight at some point we need to do some cool stuff with them we need to obviously try to get all the other variants and then eventually you know we're gonna have the genesis ones which is gonna be pretty cool too so we will get all of that but guys that is it for today if you have enjoyed the video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button and I will catch you in the next one. Also, we need a name for this beauty.